Beloved, welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Welcome to the first day of the best of your life. I am Astarius Miraculi. I love you so much. I love who you really are. And that is what we are uncovering today. My subject matter today is milk the blessing from the suffering. In the human experience we all go through some measure of suffering in life and you know suffering is part of the divine plan even though it hurts like hell and nobody wants it and understandably so and yet after we go through an experience of suffering we oftentimes emerge into a greater level of empowerment that we could possibly have uh, touched in with had we not experienced the suffering. Suffering is meant to be servant unto us. Pain is an angel in distress. When we move through life with that attitude, then we are able to milk the blessing from the suffering. When we go to the central core of anything, we always find the light, we always find the blessing, we always find that which will facilitate a greater measure of expansion for us. But we have to look for the central core. The central core of our being is much like the eye of the tornado or, or the eye of the hurricane, the eye of the storm. In the very central core of any and every storm is a place of pristine peace that is totally beyond all of the external turbulence. And when we are in a state of suffering, we are experiencing a tremendous amount of turbulence. But when we pierce to the center of that turbulence, then we find the light. This is much like the womb of creation, the vortex of creation. It is that resonance of eternal essence from which we have all come and to which we all return. Even though we go through periods of forgetfulness and feeling a sense of separation from source, and losing connection with our exalted self-esteem. And yet it's always there. But in order to milk the blessing from the suffering, we must go to the central core, to the eye of the tornado. Or in this particular case, you know, if we look at the I, capital I, you know, of your life storm or my life storm, then we might call it the eye of the your NATO, you know, your particular storm. For we can always find peace in the midst of turbulence, but we must have the presence of mind and heart to look for that. Today happens to be Friday the 13th, and I wanted to bring this message because Friday the 13th is a day that is very ill-treated sometimes or misunderstood, and people call it a bad luck day. It's a day that really reflects a tremendous amount of power. There's enormous power that is available on Friday the 13th, the number 13. Well, when we look at it relative to the 13th key in the tarot, it is the key of death. And death is really a wonderful thing, because whenever we die to anything, we morph into a greater expression of life in another dimension of experience. 
Just as when we were born into this physical experience, we died to the realm of spirit. And when we die in the physical, we are born into the realm of spirit. And so the womb and the tomb are both birthing chambers. I said the womb and the tomb are both birthing chambers. So what are the ways in which you need to die? What are the personality traits that are not working favorably for you? Who are the beings that you're hanging out with that may not be the, ha the healthiest to hang out with? What needs to come to closure? What chapter do you want to close in order to enter into the beginning of a new chapter within your life? Time to milk the blessing from the suffering. You milk the blessing from the suffering when you have the presence of mind and heart to bless the suffering. Everything that you bless will bless you back. Everything that you curse will curse you back. Therefore, bless it all and take no slack to therefore take your power back. When you curse a situation, you lose your power. When you curse a situation, you're operating from a place of separation. Even the most horrendous situations represent that which we have created. And these renegade, these renegade creations must be brought back into synergy so that we can once again align them with the light. We can find blessings in everything. You milk the blessing from the suffering when you affirm the light that exists within everything. If you see a beloved in a state of suffering, rather than allowing the way that you see them to be an affirmation of that suffering, see instead them being aligned with that central core, you know, that place that is uncontaminatable, that exists within the central core of being, the eye of the turbulence, the eye of the storm, the eye of the yornado, the eye of the tornado. And by seeing them in that way, even though they may be in the thick of the greatest suffering of their life, because you see them beyond that suffering, then the way that you see them becomes an affirmation of their liberation. And if, even if they're not ready to receive that which you're seeing for them, then you have made a deposit within their soul bank, which they will withdraw when they evolve to a place of readiness. And when they withdraw it, it will have uh, accumulated interest. So you milk the blessing from the suffering when you see with eyes of benevolence. When you look for the good that exists within everything. You milk the blessing from the suffering when you see pain as your servant. Because you are meant to to be empowered by everything. Everything is meant to be servant unto you. And nothing is meant to be master over you. I got a little piece I want to share with you from my book. Um, let's see, I've lost my... Oh, there it is. Okay, I Am Life. Yeah, this piece I call I Am Life. And my book uh, is Miraculi, Song of Ascension. This has got a great little message relative to what is being communicated. I am life, don't judge me, accept me. I have ways of expression beyond measure. Sometimes I express what is pleasing and fun, sometimes I express what is painful and terrifying. It is my divine right to express all. When you accept me in the allness of expression, you will know me as God unfolding down the corridors of eternity. All beings are the offspring of God and have the right to all expression, good or bad, low or high, reality or illusion. Wisdom is found in the understanding that all experience is a teacher and has the capacity to guide to self-liberation. I am life. Don't judge me. 
that which is judged is resented and rejected. That which is rejected cannot be learned from and will return like the phantom until the lesson is embraced. The pain of life is a door marked pull and joy waits on the other side. If you push on a door marked pull, how will you gain the rites of passage that will lead you into the arms of joy? Suffering is an angel in distress. Your acceptance is the grace that will free this angel. I am life who wears all faces. Accept me as yourself mirrored from every corner of existence. Grant all my behavior the verdict of innocence. Good and evil are sly illusions that change places with each other regularly to suit the convenience of the moment. All things simply are. The so-called good or bad can only be determined by how you choose to be impacted by circumstance. Any circumstance can be a means to an end of greater wholeness if you look for the blessing. I am life. I reveal the blessing within the curse and make the stumbling block a stepping stone. This is so powerful. And in order to come into the full measure of our power, we must step away from judgment. Like the line that says, that which is judged is resented and rejected. And that which is rejected cannot be learned from. And will return like the phantom until the lesson is embraced. You cannot learn from that which you are in a state of rejecting. So even the painful experiences of life must not be rejected. But rather, what is it that I am meant to learn from this pain? How is it that I can be empowered by this moment of suffering? Because I am meant to be empowered by everything. Everything, beloved, is meant to be servant unto you. Everything is meant to raise you up to a higher experience. And every wonderful thing that could ever come about exists already in the womb of creation, which is also the eye of the tornado or the eye of the storm. That's the central core of life. Everything emanates out from the central core. And what we want to do is to now create in the realm of manifestation that beauty which will be a reflection of this calm, still place that exists inside. And so thank you for receiving this message. I am Astarius Miraculae. I love you so much. And be sure and Subscribe to my channel. Look at some other videos. I'm up to more than 150 videos now. And we'll soon cross a million views. Go ahead and look at some things and help me cross that million mark. Because these works are making a positive difference in our world. And let us all do whatever it is that we can do to make things better within the world as well as our entire universe. I have services that I offer. I do psychic astrology readings and uh, practice and teach Reiki as well as uh, healing transmissions, chakra alignment transmissions with didgeridoo and vocal harmonics. So um, I would love it if you'd put me to work on that level and allow me to serve and empower you in that way. I am located in the area of Atlanta, Georgia and I do work however by uh, phone or Skype with people all over the world. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you know, we can definitely do some work and I would love to serve and empower you in that way. So uh, go and uh, hear some of my uh, sound clips on my CDs. I have 17 to choose from, so you got a plethora of treasures that you can find on my website. Astarius.com, A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S.com, which you can also see there on the link. Ho ashe amen namaste hotep in lakesh alakin shalom satnam harion.
up at the top there's room for all it's just the bottom that's crowded y'all milk the blessing from the suffering